What's going on, y'all? Uh, conscious one coming at you. Let's see if I can walk through this target without anybody paying attention to me when I'm not paying attention to them. Of course, everybody's paying attention to me, even if I don't pay them no mind. And I'm just, I'm just hoping that this is the, uh, like the target that I'll be closest to working. That's like the, uh, that's like the that's like the LGBT. They got LGBTQT targets, y'all. And when I go to the and, and, and I go to that target, I go to the men's section. I don't see no men's clothes. I don't think this is a I don't think this is a LG, you know, BQ to, uh, type of target right here that I'm in. Matter of fact, I can tell already that it's not. So that's good. They actually got a CVS in this target. I didn't know CVS was in target. But yeah, I just want to talk to y'all about, um, you know, this reality, it can get so frustrating. You know, uh, last video y'all seen, you know, I, I tell y'all every time I have a drop off, every single time, okay, I have a drop off. Somebody's either pulling in or pulling out right next door or right across the street. Now, you start seeing stuff like this. It can be very, very annoying. It is annoying. It is annoying, but I can think of something that's even more annoying than that. I can, what about the people who be trying to do YouTube videos, right? And they, they know a secluded area, maybe in the woods that nobody, nobody goes there, right? But when they go out there and try to make a YouTube video, somebody just pops out the bushes. Now that would, that would drive me, guys, that would make me want to hurt a motherfucker. I'm not even going, man, you know what I'm saying? That, that that just I mean you talk about cockroaches man you talk about cockroaches now that right there that would that would just drive me up the wall I, I would I would I would almost be tempted to hurt this individual because I wouldn't think they're human I give you another example I mean they live y'all they live I give you another example I notice every time like let's say I'm in an area and I'm very very alert guys very alert and that GABA helps me be very alert GABA G-A-B-A I think the GABA helps me tap into some stuff you know what I mean we, we talking about the neurons firing, firing in the brain but I'm going to talk to y'all about that later because I don't have enough information on it but I noticed like let's say I'm going five miles over the speed limit and all of a sudden you know how sometimes you feel yourself you know going a little too fast and you check the speedometer and you be like oh shit let me slow down because I'm going five you know just when you're going five miles above, uh, over the speed limit I tell y'all the truth when I'm getting when I'm getting close to speeding I always stop myself when I'm getting close because you can't pay attention to everything all the time you man you could be going in a 40 and you could make a right turn next thing you know you're in a 30 and you're trying to work. You're trying to pay attention to your phone. You're trying to pay attention to your surroundings. And that's what this reality is all about. Distractions. And to be a fucking cop, man. That's like, to me, to be a cop, you got to be a goddamn parasite, man. Or a demon. I don't see how nobody can be a cop, man. To be honest with you, I already told y'all, man. The cops, they're getting radiated, man. From the, the, uh, the radiation inside them vehicles. Okay. You got, man, you got to be just... Man, you got to be wired totally different to be a cop. I'm sorry, man. You got to be wired totally different. You know, we know smart people do not pass those police officer tests. But uh, anyway, oh, look at it. It's the pizza section. Man, I'm telling y'all, man, they get they, they <laughs> Tombstone pizza tastes better than uh, that, that little Caesars. I'll tell y'all that right now. Tombstone tastes better. I haven't had a frozen pizza in years. But anyway, guys, yeah, so it can become extremely, extremely annoying because like, oh, let me finish what I was saying. So every time I notice, like, okay, I'm going five over and I always catch myself because, you know, I do a lot of driving, man. I can always catch myself when I'm like slipping. You know what I mean? Like you just not paying and I catch myself. Uh Oh, check the speedometer. You might be going a little too. And every time it's like every time I get to that point where I am in a zone where I'm may might. It's like a split second where I might start speeding. Uh, it's like always a fucking cop behind me. Where these motherfuckers be on Friday nights when, when these motherfuckers be running running stop signs all throughout the city? Where these motherfuckers be with these, these cars with the modified muffler? They're not even trying to hide. They got a modified muffler. 
making all kind of noise and speeding off down the street like crazy. Where, where the cops be when these motherfuckers out? No, they only out. They only out to you, <laughs> the law-abiding citizen who who uh, may be doing just seven, eight miles per hour over the speed limit. No, they only pay attention to you. Everybody else can do what the hell they want to do. What kind of fucking reality is this, man? This, this shit is crap. So I say, be a cop, man. That's that, man. That's a joke, man. That's a joke. That's why I'm saying, well, who, I mean, hey, when we was watching the um, Matrix, they show, they weren't even showing them cops being just, just agents. They just agents. You know what I'm saying? They, they mission is to stop you, the chosen one, not the motherfuckers who running the sign who actually might run over Lord Johnny on a the bike. They ain't, no, no, they ain't after that. Because that's what they want. <laughs> they want that blood, that blood, that sacrifice. They trying to mess up your life because you're the only thing that matters down here. Yes, chosen ones. We the only things that ma that matters down here. Should be called chosen one. Chosen ones matter. <laughs> I might I might title that. But yeah, y'all. Um, it's very annoying, man. When you when you start figuring, that's why they, that's why they need you on a nine to five job because when you go into the same place every day and doing the same thing, you ain't gonna notice. You ain't gonna, you ain't, you're not gonna notice this simulation like that that much. You know. But when you out like I am, especially the hours I work every day, what, what I'm doing right now is abnormal to begin with. A human being that works like every day, 12 hours and, be, and, and above. That's abnormal in itself. Who does that? Well, I tell you guys, man, I can take off if I wanted to. But I don't I don't want to. I'll be honest. I should be straight up honest with y'all. I don't want to take off. Take off to hang out with who? Now, if I happen to go out on a date soon, okay, that's something to take out. But until then, there is no reason for me to, to do nothing but work. Because these people are garbage, and you go out and you try to have a good time, and they, they just ruin your day, man. You could be anywhere. You could be at the movie theaters. You could be at a restaurant. Somebody will ruin that experience for you. But as far as these people, you know, pulling out and pulling in, when I get to the drop-off, See, this is hot, man. This is why I don't want no house. You know what I'm saying? They say, be careful what you would. What would I have, guys, if I was rich right now? I'm telling you, I would buy some land. And I want to make sure that the, that nobody is near me within, I don't even know, at least a half a mile. I don't want no houses next to me for at least a half a mile. And I'm totally, some people will be scared of that type of situation. Y'all know, you know, like, we was talking about people scared of the night, uh, got to leave on the night. Like, some, some people will be scared if they was living in a situation where your next door neighbor, neighbor wasn't uh, anywhere near you within a half mile. That, Guys, that's what I want. Because if I'm seeing all this Matrix stuff, when I pull out and pull in, can you imagine, like, if, if a guy like me actually lived in one of these neighborhoods? It'd drive me nuts. Matter of fact, something came across my YouTube feed yesterday like they was reading my brain y'all know how that go something came across my youtube feed somebody was talking about the psycho psychological damage people suffer from living like it just in a, a regular suburban neighborhood and i was i was tripping i was tripped out that i saw that title because that's what i had been thinking about and plus y'all know about that movie right what's that movie vivarium yeah y'all I posted it. Go go watch that movie called Vivarium. V i v a r i u m. You you wouldn't want to live around these motherfuckers, okay? Because they weird as fuck. These these people who live in these communities with the HOAs and all those are weird motherfuckers, y'all. Those are agents, big time agents, man, to ruin, to ruin people's lives, spy and do all this stuff. Man, I was gonna make a point, but it kind of slipped my mind. See if I can get it get it back going. Um, what was I gonna say? He's talking about vivarium. Uh, oh my God, y'all! It's just he's talking about how I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to uh, live in one of these neighborhoods. No, I wouldn't, y'all. I wouldn't want to live in one of these neighborhoods with these people. You know what I'm saying? With no privacy. A house is not my is not my American. A house for me is an a, a American nightmare. Okay, it's an American nightmare for me. Oh, these bananas, these bananas looking pretty good, but I I can get them from the, from a uh, gas station, Seven Eleven and stuff. Ah, uh, 
I feel like I'm 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 forgetting something that I want to tell y'all. Um I, I, I hate when it happens. Um Yeah, but some people yeah, I'm telling you, if I if I allow man, I'm telling y'all, if I had a house, I don't want nobody within a half mile of my house. You understand what I'm saying? No, I'm telling you. Uh but yeah, we was talking about the police. Uh but yeah, yeah, yeah. This this thing, man. We we out it's literally Dark City, the movie Dark City, and they live put together. And um mm, I think I'm a, that's about wrap it up, y'all. I just wanted to tell y'all how annoyed I get with showing up and these people leaving every time I show up in these neighborhoods right next door. Like, come on, man. And it doesn't matter what time I show up. It could be three o'clock in the uh, in, in, uh, it could be 3 p.m. It could be 11 p.m. It can th it can be 3:33 a.m. in the morning. Y'all know how I be driving down the street, right? It don't be nobody out. Well, guess what? When I get to the drop off, it'll be somebody out over there, right next door. It don't matter what time it is. Shit is crazy, man. But like I said, I can't think of something more annoying, and that's the guys, people who do YouTube videos, and they go out to a sec uh, secluded place. They know nobody go out there. <laughs> And they plan to go do, you know, go do a video out there. As soon as they go out there, you know, here comes somebody. Crazy, yo. It's crazy. That would make, like I said, I would just drive me up the wall right there. I couldn't, I, I don't think I could deal with that. You'd be wanting to hurt one of these people, man. Because you know they, they can't be human. They can't be. Anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.